What's going on, everyone? This past Sunday night, the Dallas Cowboys did not start the season the way that they had hoped. They got smacked by the Bucks, and the record of Tom Brady and not losing to the Cowboys is still ongoing. And on top of all of that, just the cherry on top of the Dallas Cowboys' a terrible start was that Dak Prescott broke his thumb in his throwing hand and is likely going to miss uh, at least six to eight weeks. Uh, his goal and hope is to get show up around week eight or nine. Uh, that would be best case scenario. But the big question is, what does Dallas do now, now that Dak is going to miss some uh, foreseeable time? And just to give you an idea of what exactly happened, here was an injury report. Uh, Prescott's injury. Uh, QB Dak Prescott underwent surgery Monday afternoon to repair a fractured thumb on his throwing hand. Prescott's injured the base of his right thumb after it was hit by Bucks linebacker Shaq Barrett's hand as Prescott followed through on a pass late in Sunday's loss. Uh, the Cowboys are bracing to be without their starting quarterback until after the bye week, placing his return at mid-November. Uh, exact location of the injury is not known. Uh, this image is uh, via Michael Hoggis, a uh, staff artist. So this was just a representation to kind of give you an idea of what uh, happened and what it looks like. Uh, as you can see there, it was on his throwing hand, which is not good. And best case scenario, he comes mid-November. Problem is, is he going to have discomfort? Is he going to be able to throw and grip the ball properly even after, uh, you know, everything heals and he gets back? Just a lot of questions. So where does Dallas go now? What is Dallas's options? Well, one option is Jimmy G. And this is why the San Francisco 49ers held on to Jimmy G and didn't just force a trade, force to get rid of him. Now, the 49ers even recently have stated that, look, if the deal, if a deal is on the table, they're willing to explore a Jimmy G trade, but they're not going to trade him just to trade him. They're not going to force a trade. The 49ers were smart, and I talked about this when the when they first announced the trade, that I wouldn't be shocked if Jimmy G isn't traded till the season because you're going to have one of these teams that ends up having a quarterback go down and the price for Jimmy G is going to skyrocket. And that's exactly what has happened here. That now Dallas... They have to make a decision. Do they run with their backup quarterback, which they like, but they don't believe he's the guy that can lead the charge? And so we saw what that experiment looked like, and it didn't go very well. I mean, Dallas only scored three points that game. That's not very. It's not a very good sign, uh, though. I mean, it is the Bucks, but still. I mean, you'd expect a little more, a little more movement, a little more uh, offensive, uh, uh, just execution. And so a guy like Jimmy G, he's proven. Uh, you know, he's not the greatest quarterback in the world. He's not a leader or anything like that, but he is good enough to win you some games, to fit into any system, be a solid contributor. He's a guy that could have some value for trade later on. Maybe you don't get as much as you would, uh, as you'd have to trade now, but Cowboys are in a situation that they need a quarterback. They need a guy that they can trust and rely on. And Jimmy G is that reliable source. He's that guy that has been to a Super Bowl, that has gone to, you know, uh, you know, uh, play away from going to a Super Bowl again and winning a Super Bowl, things like that. Like, all of this stuff is huge. Always, you're looking at Jimmy G as kind of your answer, at least for now. And it gives you that insurance, again, in case Dak comes back and he's not ready to go. You know, because you don't want to force the issue. He comes in and he just can't, he can't even throw the ball. You know, at least Jimmy G, Jimmy G is going to be able to allow you to weather the storm. Even if you have to use him the whole year, in the right system, the right formula, he, we've seen that he can be successful. He's not a guy that's going to just completely change the fate of your franchise, but you don't need that. You just need somebody that can come in, quickly learn your offensive schemes, quickly fit in and build that chemistry and just, you know, put put the team in position night in and night out to hopefully win some games. And look, if we're being honest, Dak Prescott, it's not like Dak is this super elite quarterback. I know Dallas fans think Dak Prescott is like the greatest things in sliced bread and he's like the next, you know, Tom Brady and stuff like that, but he's underachieved and underperformed in every single way. He's He is who he is. He's a mid-tier quarterback. He's not elite, but he's not bad. Like, I don't think he's a terrible quarterback, but I don't think he's, you know, he's a quarterback that changes the fate of your franchise. I think that Jimmy G could come in and provide a lot of the same stuff that Dak is going to get you. You know, Dak may be able to throw the deep ball a little better and stuff like that, and is a little more mobile than Jimmy G. But outside of that, I don't think they're that far off in comparison. I think Jimmy G could come in, and I don't think you'll really skip a beat or miss a step in this offense. I think Jimmy G, Jimmy G, the biggest knock on him is just his decision-making at times and just, like, his, his lack of control in the pocket. 
But again, Dak doesn't have a ton of that either. I mean, you watch his, you watch the games. His decision making at times, he tries to force the issue. He, he at times doesn't know when to get rid of the ball. You know, he, he relies on his legs a little too much at times. I, I don't think you're going to miss that much uh, if you have Jimmy G as your starting quarterback over a guy like Dak Prescott. Now, I, I think I would probably put Dak Prescott higher than Jimmy G. I'm not saying that you know Jimmy G is better or anything like that, but I'm saying like they're not like their play styles, the way that they're going to execute, the way that they're going to play the game for Dallas specifically. I don't think is going to be that big of a of a loss. You know, I think Jimmy G is going to be able to come in and give you those quality wins. He's going to be able to to keep you relevant in in a division that I mean, is it it's not that great. I mean, you have a real opportunity to win your division even with Jimmy G. Now, you know, Eagles, Eagles are pretty solid. I mean, they had a good showing. Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I think if you're if you're the Cowboys, you're looking at this as like, you know, this is a very winnable division. This is something that we can, with Jimmy G, get the get the job done. Um, and I, I just, I think Jimmy G, I think Jimmy G can provide everything you need uh, for this team. You know, because the problem is everybody in your division right now is 1-0, right? I mean, Eagles won, Commanders won, Giants won. So if you're the Cowboys, you're already a game behind of everybody, Right, so you got to do something. You can't stand Pat. You got to try to to get a guy that can at least win you some games, or at least put you in the best position to win you some games. Because I mean, Rush, you know, he came in and he just granted they protected him because of the circumstances and stuff like that. But I mean, he was what seven of thirteen. He only threw for sixty four yards. Uh, you know, he he had a he had a better rating. Than Dak, but I mean, come on, like you know, Dak was able to give you more in the in the time he was there. Although Dak did throw an interception, but um, you know, it just I don't think Rush is going to be your answer. I don't think you're going to win. I think Jimmy G is going to win you at least double, if not triple, the games that Rush is going to win you. Now, Rush may be more familiar with the offense, uh, may be more familiar with the players, but I just think Jimmy G, at least right now. You, you know what you're going to get with him. He's going to be a guy that's going to come in. He's going to be just serviceable enough. He's going to be able to, to run within the scope and frame of your offense and what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve. And I, I just I don't think that this is the worst-case scenario for the Cowboys. I, I think we should be seeing a trade rather quickly here. Um, you know, there's already talks and rumors about this being a trade, that this being a thing. And I just think if you're Dallas, you got it. You got to do something. You got you can't. There's just no way you can stand pat. I think the Eagles uh, definitely have a, a more favorable schedule. I think that uh, you know, so it's gonna be you're gonna be trying to catch up to them. Commanders could be very solid. Uh, you know, their defense has always been a really good thing, and now they got you know Wentz. We'll see how Wentz is. He he didn't have the greatest showing ever. Um, you know, and a lot of questions about him and his quarterback play um but the Giants I mean the Giants on paper have an incredible roster and many think can win this division so you're competing with that and you need you need to put yourself in the best position Dak's going to be out you know eight weeks you know uh, you you the series the season might be over for you by that time you know so go trade what you have to trade to go get Jimmy G you know Jimmy G is available you know the 49ers are want you're you're probably gonna have to give up maybe a third or fourth round pick um, for Jimmy G, I mean, I think especially now that, uh, you know, especially now that they probably know Dallas is relatively desperate. So you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to give up something of value now where before it might've been, you know, like a, a sixth round pick or something like that. I think that, you know, it, it, but if you're Dallas, you got to, you got to go get a guy in Jimmy G because what are your other options? You run with rush. You hope that one of these other backup quarterbacks can step in and, and get the role. Like a lot of those guys are unproven. A lot of those guys are backups for a reason. You know, Jimmy G, yes, you can make the argument. He's going to, he's a backup for a reason too, but the 49ers, like, I mean, even, even this week one, Trey Lance is the 49ers guy, but Trey Lance wasn't phenomenal. You know, like I I think if they had Jimmy G, they would have won that first game. You know, that's just me personally. I could be completely wrong, but I do. I think that they easily could have won that first game. Uh, if they had Jimmy G, I just think that you know they, they got to ride the roller coaster, they got to ride the waves, the good and bad with Trey Lance, which is fine. You know that that is understandable. That's something that that goes in with a young quarterback. You know you're gonna ride the you're gonna ride the highs, you're gonna you know uh, be upset over the lows, stuff like that. But you know Trey Lance didn't give you the the most spectacular 
performance ever. You know, he was 13 of, what, 28, 27 for 164 yards. He threw an interception, stuff like that. He was sacked a couple times. Um, I think I think that he's going to have to come into form in and of himself, but I think that Jimmy G is available. I, I you know, But here's the thing. Do the 49ers look at it as like, look, we're already 1-0. and Trey Lance wasn't great. I mean, he wasn't terrible, but he wasn't great. You know, do do we want to trade? Do we want to trade Jimmy G now? You know, or do we want to see what happens? And so, I mean, that could be an issue too. And then if if you can't get Jimmy G, what are your other options? What el- what else is left for you as 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 the Cowboys? Like, you know, you got you're almost stuck with Rush, and I just I don't think Rush is going to be able to get the job done. I just I don't know. I think Dallas is in a really tough spot. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. But I do think Jimmy G is available. And I think if you're Dallas, you got to strike now before they change their mind. You don't want to give it another week and say the 49ers start 0-2 and they're like, okay, we need to hold on to Jimmy G. You know, like that's that's what you don't want to happen. Like you don't want them to change their minds. Like right now, the mindset is like, let's trade, you know, let's trade Jimmy Garoppolo for the right price. You know, and if for whatever reason, the 49ers, you know, they're playing the Seahawks this week. Right, and they're a big favorite at home against the Seahawks. Seahawks just upset Denver. They look pretty solid. You know, if they end up upsetting the 49ers, Jimmy G might not be going anywhere. They might be keeping Jimmy G. And you're playing the Bengals this upcoming week if you're the if you're the Cowboys. So you are you need to get somebody to kind of be able to to win that game for you because you don't want to start the season 0 2. You know, and if and if the 49ers start the season 0 2, they might they might be looking at Jimmy G. Uh, to to kind of take over once again. So if I'm the if I'm if I'm the Cowboys, I'm making this deal. I'm no rush. Like let's do this. Like let's hurry. Like hey, call up. Hey, what's going on? You know because then your next matchup is against the Giants, and you lose to the Giants, you're pro you're in your zero and three. Your season's probably over. Like that's probably it. You're not getting to the playoffs unless something crazy happens. So anyway, again, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think of this situation? Uh, do you think Dallas, yeah, you need to you need to go and trade for Jimmy G? Do you think no, run with Rush? However you feel about it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.